Hey guys, how's it going? We are gonna mix things up a little bit today. It is Saturday afternoon. I got a little bit of work done outside this morning. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of cooking. We are gonna make a Thai chicken coconut curry. I love all of those things. Thai food, chicken, curry, coconut. You can't go wrong, unless you're Erin. Erin doesn't particularly love curries, so I'm hoping to get this done in time to take it down to the garden center so that I can share it with my parents and my sister who are down there and they all love curries. Um, we are gonna be harvesting several things out of the garden. That's why I thought you guys might like to kind of follow along and see how this turns out. I've never made this recipe before, but I will link it down below. I got it online. I got it from the same gal who makes the chicken tortilla soup that I have shared with you before, like maybe a couple of years ago, and it's fantastic. So I'm very helpful for this recipe to turn out nicely. I have made my list of things to go gather. I need to get onion and garlic out of the root cellar, some carrots, none of which I have thinned in the garden, so that should be interesting, cilantro and spinach. And I don't know if Benjamin is more excited about the cooking or the garden center, but he was into this idea. And I think he'll probably join in once I get inside and help us do some cooking. Here we go. Harvest basket. Let's get an onion and garlic out of the root cellar quick. Looks good. Yum. Okay guys, I planted these way early, didn't thin them. So let's see. Not bad. Like short and stout. Oh my goodness, can you guys see in there? Look at how many are in this little spot. Dang. Oh, well, hello, you found us. Oh my goodness. Well, that'll do it. One and a quarter cup right there. That's probably got the biggest core. We should take it in and cut it up just out of curiosity. All right, spinach and cilantro. Here is our gorgeous spinach. We need three cups of this. And the cilantro is perfection right now. Quarter of a cup is what we need of that. Isn't that gorgeous? And while we're at it. Oh yeah. We are in the kitchen now. If you see the pile on the stairs, that is from my mission to organize this pantry. These things have been sitting here for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I made an apple pie last night from apples from our tree. So that's what that is. Uh, but I've got some of the ingredients sitting out here. This is the recipe. Lighting's always a little hard inside. We don't have any special lights or anything like that. So Thai chicken coconut curry from a website called averycooks.com. We will link it down below. Uh, but it's supposed to be one of those meals that comes together in one pan in like 20, 25 minutes. So I'm gonna run over some of the ingredients I have here. Uh, first off, the stuff from the garden, the carrot, garlic, onion, spinach, cilantro. We have olive oil, chickpeas, which is something I'm adding. I like chickpeas and curry. That's not actually on the recipe. Uh, we've also got ground coriander, curry paste, dill weed, coconut milk, brown sugar. This is optional. We've got a lime here, some jasmine rice, which I'm going to start this first so that that's ready when we are. Uh, we've got some naan here. And then I'm reading right over here to see what else I don't have out. So I have chicken in the fridge that I'll grab and some ginger in the fridge, salt and pepper. That's it. So I'm gonna prep all of our ingredients first. So I need to dice up the onion, chicken breast, garlic, ginger. I need to shred the carrots. 
And then I do need to get that can of coconut milk like unopened in a warm water bath, in a bowl of warm water. Cause you know, it kind of like solidifies inside the can. So that makes it kind of melt back into a liquid state. Anyway, let's prep first, then we'll put it together. Oh, I'm gonna do rice first actually. So our jasmine rice, I always cut the cooking instructions off and put them in with my rice in these, look at that. So I went with these OXO pop top things for most of my stuff, pretty handy. So I'm gonna probably double this recipe, which means I'm gonna do two cups of rice in two and three cups of water. All right. Okay, so I've rinsed my rice. We're gonna add the two cups of rinsed rice to three cups of water, and then we're gonna put the lid on it. Give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, lid, we're gonna let it come to a boil, and then we will turn it down to low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. And I don't know about rinsing rice, like if there's certain types that you should always rinse, or if you don't, I don't know. There's some people who swear by it and some people who just don't do it. I don't know, I've seen it done both ways and I'm not sure what, what the proper way is. Maybe you guys can let me know. It's boiling in there. Down to low we go. Now we'll do the rest of the ingredient prep. chicken to within an inch of its life. Like I do not like to have a single bit of fat anywhere on my chicken. As soon as we get done making this in the pan, we'll take it down to Nana and Papa. Yep, and then we're gonna eat. Yes, we are. You know what I'm seeing right behind you that we forgot to do this morning is your Halloween paper chain. Should we do it? Right behind me? Yeah. Oh, yeah! We do paper chains to count down to all fun events. It's almost shorter. This is how many more sleeps until Halloween, buddy. Yeah. Is it open on this side? You go ahead. You can tear it. Tear this side? Mm-hmm. Uh, how about... Let me start it for you. Mm-hmm. How about right here? Right there. That's a good Great job, buddy. So we got more, more sleep. Yep. Well, we got... We've got this many more sleeps until Halloween. Um, there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen. Fourteen more days. Fourteen more days, awesome. Then we're going to do a next paper chain. Yep, and then the next paper chain will be till Thanksgiving, and then the one after that will be Christmas and then New Year's, and then your birthday, and then Samantha's birthday. We get to make lots of paper chains. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, let's do some cooking. All right, guys, so I've got everything prepped here. I think I've got everything out that we need, buddy. So we have our pan and our spoon. We're gonna put some olive oil in the pan and saute some of these things together for a little bit. And then I've got my shredded carrot. Benjamin, these came from our garden. You wanna try one? That's carrots. Mmm. Tasty? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got chicken right here. It calls for a pound. I always do a little more than that. We've also got some lime, one tablespoon of lime juice. There's our coconut milk already. Jasmine rice is ready. I moved it off the heat. <laughs> Whoa, you be careful in that chair. And then I did wash the spinach. I've got the chickpeas drained and then we've got our spices. Olive oil first. We need two to three tablespoons in the pan. So you can just pour some in the pan and I'll tell you when to stop, okay? And stop. That's about two to three tablespoons right there, buddy. Boom. Turn on the heat, let it heat up for a minute, and then we are gonna put the onions in. Yeah, just the onions. I just read the re recipe. We're gonna soften the onions for five minutes. did a good job look at this you guys so many good smells right now and just dish this up over some jasmine rice with a fresh wedge of lime and some cilantro so good all right we got to get you dressed let's head down to the garden center what's that bubby We are. Was that fun? Yeah. Head out. Let's head out. You got the rice. Mm -hmm. I got the curry. Let's head out. Hey, did you see these flowers? I planted those today. I didn't ever see those. You didn't see them yet? No. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay, let's get in here and get buckled up. Okay, okay. I can, I can take this one then. You wanna do the top one? Okay, we are on our way down. We have arrived. Great job, let's grab all the food. Okay, let's head over. There's Monica. We got a curry over here. Yeah. Hey, Slick. So what's up? <laughs> My grandparents brought in grapes today. Okay, now we're gonna plate on these lovely uh, mishmash of dishes. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your shot. Hey, what, honey? We saw a train. It was a long train. What? Long Oh, whoa! Wow. <laughs> it, and there's some more! Really? Really? There's oh. some more of the choo-choo like train. train's cars. The choo-choo train was long. Oh, wow. Yeah, and yeah. it went so fast. Oh, my word. Did you get the fork scissors or spoon? Oh, um, oh wait, or has got us all taken care of. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Now there's limes and then there's none oh, as heavens. well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, heavens. Yeah. Oh, heavens. Well, everybody seemed to enjoy it. I think it was a really good, like, start. I feel like I will adjust a couple of things if I make it again. And I probably will make it again. But I would add more red curry paste. So it recommended to add one to three tablespoons of curry paste. And I added the full three tablespoons, but I would have added maybe double that. Because when I tasted the sauce when it was all in the pan, it tasted really good. Like, kind of salty and it had a pungent taste. Mom's right here. <laughs> Um, but when you add it over rice, all of a sudden everything is diluted and I feel like you almost need to make your meat sauce mixture a little bit overbearing so that when you put it over rice, it dilutes to the proper, like still tasting like bold enough, I guess. So that's probably what I would do um, because today I felt like I needed to add a little bit of salt because the flavor wasn't quite as as bold as I wanted it to be, but it was still really good. We're back home and right when we got here, I added more of the red curry paste to what was left in that 
Tupperware and it is tasting better. Now I really prefer strong flavor. I like bold flavors. And so if you kind of like things a little bit more mild and maybe with not as much spice, you might like the recipe exactly as it is. Uh, but for me, it was necessary to add that extra like level, I guess, of flavor to really enjoy it. I liked the flavors and I could taste all of them, but I just needed it to have more punch. Um, so I am outside. I played it up some more. The lighting's better out here so that you could kind of see it a little bit better. Isn't that pretty? It's colorful. It's super flavorful now. The non bread is really nice to have kind of that soft texture. The jasmine rice turned out great. And it's just fun to see all of these different ingredients that we grew ourselves. I love that. It's always fun to experiment though. I love doing new recipes or making new recipes and I love that Benjamin likes to be involved. I was kind of hoping that by him wanting to be involved in cooking and like really be a part of it, that it would make him more interested in trying different flavors and things like that. And he does try stuff. Like he was trying the broth right out of the pan. And I think that's really awesome for a three-year-old really like curries for a three-year-old. I don't know if that's a normal thing um, for a lot of kids to really, really like. Uh, uh, but I think it's just good to expose him to a bunch of different flavors. And um, honestly, even if uh, some of our recipes don't turn out, it's just fun to do it with him. I really enjoy it. I used to be a crazy meal planner. Like I would plan the entire month. I would have like a monthly shopping trip where I would go get all of the like more dry staple items. And then I would go weekly or bi-weekly for fresh stuff. Um, so if I needed, you know, lettuce and cilantro and stuff like that, I would go, um, hopefully like the day I was making the recipe or, you know, a day or two in advance so that things were still pretty fresh. It was really fun. And I challenged myself to make three brand new recipes every single week. Um, so it was just fun to seek out new recipes and try different things. And I would try to think of all the different food groups and try to make sure I was trying things out of each food group. Cause it's really easy. Like I love Mexican food. I love Thai food and I could eat those foods all the time. Um, but to incorporate some of the other things in, I think is good. Anyway, all that to say, I just thought you guys might like to see something different, I guess, for a change and um, just a way to incorporate some of the things that maybe you're growing in your garden as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had a pleasant afternoon. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, Benjamin, you want to see something? You want to see this chicken coop? You want to know something about it? I built it. Did you build I built that. It's missing at one of its little window pane things. It's holding together. <laughs> Fine craftsmanship. It's good. <laughs> it's the yeah, there used to be a chicken in there. I was to well, she went away. She got outside and then she ran away. There's some cool stuff over there. Cool stuff over there. Let's, yeah. let's take a look. Okay. That is, that, yep, it's an open shed. Open shed. Mm-hmm. That's a shed. Yes, it is. It's a lot of stuff in it. Uh-huh. There's some really beautiful bark right here. Look at how pretty. It's like a bright orange. It's some kind of linden. Yeah. Yep, a green spire. That's beautiful. You want to buy one of these trucks? Yeah. Are you going to work for some money? Yeah, I need to pass a lot of money for this truck. How much money do you think this truck costs? Um, it costs for 10 money from, from zero. 10 money from zero? Yeah. That is a new method of counting I am unaware of. But How much do you think this truck costs? Um, I'm going to buy that truck for me. Yep. It costs for two money. That costs two monies? Yeah. Oh. That costs for two money, not, not zero. Uh-huh. Two. What are you gonna do for work? Um. To earn your money? I'm gonna get a lot of coins. It's for two and three. And then um, I get a pot for my home, mm -hmm. for my old home. Then I'm gonna plant some flowers around my house. Mm-hmm. And then I'm not gonna live in your house anymore. You're not? No. When my house get all built down, I'll come in your house again and then I'll just I'll build a blue house. Oh. That's that's all. That's all? So one day you're yeah. not gonna live at my house until it, it crashes well, down. I'll show you someday. Okay. 
I love listening to his stories. Those are peat pots, buddy. That's what they plant. Um, yeah, those pots are what they plant roses in. Whoa, that's pond liner. And a bunch of leaves that probably blew in last night. Look over here. Oh, what do we got? I'm going to go over there to see that truck. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a side by side. Side by side. Yep. How much do you think that one costs? I'm gonna pay this cut for three monies. Three monies? Yeah. So this one costs more than the big trucks? Yep. Oh. And now I'm gonna buy this trailer for my truck. Oh, what are you gonna haul around on your trailer? I'm gonna put flowers and pots. Flowers and pots, that's my man. Yep. And so I can carry them home to my own house. Yeah. Not my house. No, not your house. But I'll get some plants for your house too. Oh, thank to you. House. That's awesome, baby. So I'll get two pots for your house. Really? What yeah. kind of flowers will you put in them? Um, I'll put a, a flower and then a pot with leaves. A pot with leaves? Yeah. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. That's a great plan. How much money do you think the trailer is? That'll, that'll cost for four money. Four money? Yeah. So the trailer costs more than both of those trucks? 